Hello, Farmer Jason here again at Wayfruit Farm. Um, it's our next in our series of videos of things that we're doing here on the farm uh, while everybody is off on Corona break, as I'd like to call it. Uh, it's things that we're doing outside. We're social distancing ourselves and having some fun at the same time. One of the things that we like to do is sometimes, you know how life just makes you mad and it's fun to destroy things. Well, today we're going to destroy things. And these things are trees. What happened is I had some cherry trees die. You can see how brittle these branches are. They just break instantly. So they are definitely not live. So this tree died. Now trees die for many different reasons. I think I know the reason these trees died. Um, two years ago in the summer, we had a very, very wet summer. Stone fruit trees, but all fruit trees do not like when their roots get wet. Uh, when their roots stay wet too long, it a, almost suffocates the tree. And then second of all, what it does is it gives the roots lots of fungal problems. And so what normally happens is if you have a really wet year, the trees will actually die. And part of the problem here is in every field you have a little different condition. And if you look right here, I have a very empty section of trees. And what that's from is up in here, I have something that's called a spring. And what happens is right up, right up over there, what happens is every year in the springtime, the water actually starts bubbling up out of the ground. And it's a spot in the crust of the earth where the earth is very sensitive to letting the water up through. And so what happened in that year that was wet, I had water coming out of that spring all summer long. A little bit of time for a week or two in the spring, if the water comes out, it's not that big of a deal. But when it was coming out for months and months at a time, it killed most of these trees. Um, the ones in between here we took out a couple years ago. After that, these other ones I thought would make it and they didn't. So now what we're gonna have to do is we have to get them out of there. Having unhealthy dead trees hanging out in your orchard is not a good thing. So what we're literally gonna do is we're gonna show you how we do it. And how we do it's sort of fun. We use a tractor. We don't cut them down. We pull them out with a tractor. That way we get the roots and everything out. Um, it's sort of fun to do. So that's what we're gonna try. We'll show you how we crush them down and then we'll get rid of all of the extra brush. And so this way we don't have to come back and do anything other than level out the hole. So we'll just level this out and we'll be able to go right back to replanting this field or at least mowing it for the near time. So that's what's nice about using the tractor. Well, oh, as he takes out some more trees on us, Farmer Brooks is taking out our trees, but that's okay because they're dead. So. Be honest, yeah. 
now we're going to come back and we're going to dig a little bit of dirt out underneath the reach. So we're actually picking the front end of the tractor up. Now we're going to try to hit the reach. And it still doesn't want to get There it's coming loose. Dropping, we're sort of ripping the roots loose. There it comes up out. I'm going to go back and get a bite underneath the roots. This one here is just a little stronger than the one we pushed out right before this. So now I'm going to lift them roots up out of the ground. See all that stuff coming. Sort of hard to see today. Oh. All right, so you got to see this one from inside the tractor. Um, this one fought us a lot more. The root system on this tree, since it was bigger, was a lot more advanced than what the root system was in that first tree. So it took us a lot of beating and banging to get this out of the ground, but we did get it out, and so now we'll be able to replant this spot too. Farmer Brooks really had to work at that one to get that one out. We used all the horsepower plus four wheel drive and uh, we're going to push it just a little bit more out to make sure all the roots are loose from the ground. <laughs> So that one fought so much. We normally do this when the ground is wet because then they'll push out a little bit easier. If you try to do this in the summertime when it's really dry, they won't come out at all. They'll just break off and that's where you'd be stuck. But you can see it was wet enough that whenever we were trying to push that out, it actually turned out part of our orchard row, um, ripped it right out. So you can see how much horsepower it takes to push out a tree.
so the ones we were showing you before were actually tart cherry trees. These are gonna be plum trees. They're right next to them. But again, right next to that spring, way too wet and they just died because of the wetness. You can actually tell right through the orchard where the wetness goes because we have no trees. So we're gonna tear these out also. Again, not sure exactly what killed these trees. I'm gonna guess wet roots, uh, but we used the tractor to tear them out. Then we used the tractor to lift them up and dump them over the fence so they're gone for good. So I thank you all for watching this. Um, we've been enjoying doing these videos. It's a way to keep ourselves happy in these times. And so we're gonna keep working. We're out here enjoying outdoors, outdoors during all of this. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you with the next video very soon.